Thank you for tuning in to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. Black-owned businesses starts up 400% compared to white business starts. Revenues for black-owned firms near $89 billion. Number of business up 45%. Revenues generated by the nation's 1.2 million black-owned businesses rose 25% between 1997 and 2002 to 88.8 billion in 2002 while the number of such firms grew by 45 percent in the same five year period this is according to the new report survey of business owners black owned firms 2002 released today by the u.s census sorry not today this is a week ago the u.s census bureau it's encouraging to see not just the number of the number but the sales and receipts of black owned businesses are growing at such a robust rate, confirming that these firms are among the fastest growing segments of our economy, said Census Bureau Director Louis Kincannon. New York has the greatest number of black-owned firms with 129,324, followed by California, 112,873, Florida, 102,079, Georgia, 90,461, and Texas, 88,769. These five states account for about 44% of all black-owned businesses in the United States. Other states with high number of black-owned firms include Maryland, Illinois, North Carolina, Michigan, Virginia, and Louisiana. Cook County, Illinois, and Los Angeles, California, California, uh, have the largest number of black-owned businesses in the nation. Cook County, with 54,758 black-owned firms, accounted for 80% of all black-owned firms in Illinois. Los Angeles County, with 52,674 black-owned firms, accounted for 47% of all black-owned firms in California. What does that tell you right there? If you want to support black business those are the counties to move to if you want to start a black business those are the counties to move to i would not suggest moving to california however i would recommend that you go to illinois without even knowing the state uh taxes that goes on but i know that california is ridiculous in in terms of uh, personal uh, taxes and business taxes businesses in california are leaving by the dozens per hour this these counties were followed by kings county new york 37,499 prince george's county maryland 28,389 which is among uh, the richest counties for black people in the entire nation miami dade county florida 28,359 and harris county texas 27,770 New York City had more black-owned firms than any other city in the country at 98,076. The city with the second largest number of black-owned firms was Chicago with 39,424, followed by Los Angeles, 25,958, Houston, 21,226, and Detroit, 19,530. Isn't that shocking? Other highlights. In 2002, nearly 4 in 10 black-owned firms operated in health care and social assistance and other services such as personal services and repair maintenance they own 9.7 percent of all such businesses in the united states retail trade and health care and social assistance services accounted for 28.6 percent of all black owned business revenue there were 10,727 black owned firms operating in 2002 with receipts of one million dollars or more Revenue for these firms was about $49 billion compared to $40 billion in 1997, up 22%. These firms accounted for 1% of the total number of black-owned firms in 2002 and 55% of their total receipts. There were 973 black-owned firms with 100 employees or more in 2002 compared to 889 in 1997, up 9%. These firms generated $16 billion in gross receipts and increase of 31% since 1997. Firms of this size accounted for 24.3% of 
of the total revenue of four black owned employer firms in 2002. Black owned firms accounted for 5% of all non farm business in the United States in 2002. About 8% of black owned firms employed more than 756,000 people, mostly black. To the 2002 survey of business owners, SBO, uh, defines black owned business as firms in which African Americans own 51% or more of the stock or equity of the business. Separate, separate reports on other minority owned businesses will be issued over the coming months. The SBO is part of the 2002 economic census and combined survey data from a sample of more than 2.4 million business with administrative data. Data for 2002 are not directly compared to previous surveys year because of several significant changes to the survey methodology. Uh, you would have to see comparability of 2002 and 1997 SBO data. The data collected in a sample survey and uh, subject to sampling variability as well as non-sampling errors. Sources of non-sampling errors include errors of response, non-reporting, non and coverage. A couple of things about black-owned firms. They are the largest employer of black people. I have, I have tried to say this and stress this over and over again. We need more black firms. Now, to say that black owned firms account for 5% of all revenue in, in the United States is an astronomical feat on the part of black owned firms. That is overrepresented of the actual number of black owned firms in the United States. We take home, uh, 5% in our own stores, in our own black owned firms, we take in 5% of all business revenue generating in the United States. If we got that to a simple 10%, we wouldn't need the poor section. First of all, for, we would probably eradicate the poor section of the black community, completely eradicate it because we would need to hire more black people to work at these black firms. Now, for those people saying, uh, hiring only uh, black people, hiring only black people is, is racist. No, these firms are located in black communities. White communities have white businesses that hire white people. I mean, it's just, that's just the way it is. So if we increased the firm operation to just by 5% more, we would eradicate a lot of the hangups and ailments and disease that we have in the black community. And I don't mean disease by like a medical term. I mean the disease of uh, brain, economics, lack of power, so forth and so on. Anyway, uh, this is fantastic news. Of course, now this report is ancient and I said it was uh, up for 400%. This, this recent Census Bureau data has stated that it is now up 400%. When time gets, when times get tough, black people open up businesses. And I do mean black. There was a question of, uh, Africans coming over here. There is not enough Africans coming from Africa to the United States to even have a significant impact on any data whatsoever as far as business is concerned. We are talking about African Americans. Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, one of the, people had asked in one of my former videos. Thank you for that question. And there is the answer. The Africans who are migrating to the United States uh, do not, are of not of any significance. And that includes Africa, Haiti, uh, all of those, all of the islands, all of the immigrants uh, of African descent coming to the United States are of such inconse inconsequential numbers that you cannot even calculate their impact on the African-American community. Thank you for watching the Shikama live show, and this is fantastic news.